When I was in the UK, one of the mashayikh there, he was sharing his story with us. It's a very famous story. One of the mashayikh there, he says, I was hired by one of the masajid as an imam. He says that I was new to the area. And I used to take the bus from my house to the town, to, to, to that area. And then I would walk to the masjid, it wasn't far from there. And he says, because I was the imam, when I would go to the masjid, yani he went in his abaya and the amama and the whole, and the whole shebang. He says, so I would take this bus. He says, one day I jumped on the bus and uh, it was a new bus driver. So it wasn't someone that, that he had seen. He says, I jump on the bus, I paid him for my fare and he gave me the change. He says, when he gave me the change, I didn't really look at what he gave me until I went back to the back of the bus, I sat down. He says, when I sat down, I looked at the money and I realized he gave me 20 pence. In the UK, 20 pence, yeah, and we're talking nothing, but cents. He says, so you know, like I sat there and I said, man, the guy gave me more. He said, and then the conversation started happening in my head. And honestly, how many times have you been in this position? He's thinking, you know what? It's 20 pence, it's nothing, bro. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Don't embarrass yourself. They're a big company anyway, bro. And really, what's 20 cents gonna do, eh? So the man's sitting there and he's thinking, bro, it's 20 cents. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? He says, and wallahi, for the whole trip, this is the conversation that's happening. He says, you know, like it wasn't about the money, it was just. And then the Sheikh was saying, he was saying, when I got to my bus stop, he said, I got off my chair, I'm walking down the bus, I'm walking to the front door. He says, Wallahi, and I'm still saying to myself, do I give it, then I give it? He says, and then as soon as I got to the bus driver, he said, I don't know what went into me, man. He said, no, I turned over to the bus driver. I said to him, look, man, you gave me 20 extra. He goes, no, I didn't give you 20 extra. He goes, I gave it to you intentionally. He said, why did you give it to me intentionally? He asked me, for three years I've been looking into Islam. And he said, when I came and I seen you dressed the way you were dressed, I knew that you were an Imam. He said, so today I was going to make my decision. If you were honest, if you were honest, I was going to embrace Islam. But if you kept that money, I, he said, I knew that you were liars like everyone else lies. So now the Shaykh is speaking about himself. He says, I gave him the money. He says, I got off the bus. He says, when the bus drove off, he says, I started crying. I said to him, why? Because the man accepted Islam or he was about to accept Islam. He gave me la wallahi la. I said to him, why? He said to me, I almost sold my deen for 20 cents, bro. He said, I almost sold Islam. I sold the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal for 20 cents. That's dunya, man. That's dunya. We've sold our deen. Wallahi, we've sold our deen. Go to any masjid, any masjid you like on a, well, any masjid for a fajr prayer. And see how many people choose Allah over dunya. Am I allowed to speak Quran? Am I allowed to speak Quran? I won't tell you the opinion of some shaykh. Forget it, Quran. Can I speak Quran? Allah Azza wa Jal says about dunya. And he created dunya. So he knows it better than you, better than me, better than anyone. He says, وتفاخر بينكم وتكاثر في الأموال والأولاد كمثل غيث أعجب الكفار نباته ثم يهيج فتراه مصفرا ثم يكون حطاما وفي الآخرة عذاب شديد ومغفرة من الله ورضوان وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور